getting really crazy in this presidential campaign already, and it's even more than a year away before the election. The Republicans are all rolling up their sleeves and planning their strategies to duke it out at the next debate in a couple of weeks, and nobody is backing down. I think they're going to have to keep Donald Trump and Jeb Bush on opposite sides of the room because they sure aren't getting along. And the Democrats are scrambling to figure out what to do about all those emails and whether to get somebody new to run or not, even though it's getting a little bit late. Meanwhile, people are getting into fights on Facebook and arguing about the issues, and people are defending each other right and left over the issues and such. Well, at least we don't have those kinds of problems in the Poodle Party. We all get along just fine in the Poodle Party. And since I'm the only candidate running, we can just have fun. In fact, we have a big end of summer bash planned at the Vice Presidential Pool this weekend exclusively for the Poodle Party since it is a long weekend. It should be a whole lot of fun. that Kanye West announced that he is going to be running for president in 2020. Well, I do have to share with you that the reason that he wanted to wait and run in 2020 instead of now is because he felt like he did not stand a chance running against me, a white poodle. I mean, can you imagine what things would be like in the White House, with those Kardashians moving in there, it would be a 24-7 reality show circus. I mean, I can't even imagine what Kim Kardashian's first lady's official portrait might be like. It would be like Lady Godiva all over again. I'm sure they would have to put those black sensor bars over it, but... She might save the country some money by not having to hire a real photographer. She could just use one of her selfies. Things will just be a lot more peaceful for the American public if I just get re-elected again in 2020. All the more reason to vote for Casper in 2016.